to the Weather Watch now and a live look at the Dan Ryan. Well, not too bad for a commute home tonight. Mary Kay, it is stunning <laughs> to believe that <laughs> summer begins tomorrow. I know. He wants me to talk 90s, Erica. Yes. Oh, We're not I there mean, yet. Geez, We're struggling. You know? Right. <laughs> Tiny baby steps. We're inching along. And right now, wouldn't you know it, we have a cool lake breeze that's generating high waves. We have a 68 degree temperature at O'Hare. We should be in the low 80s this time of year. So that lake breeze is creating a rip current risk, and we still have the beach hazards statement up until 6 o'clock for Cook County, all of the Northwest Indiana beaches because those waves could build four to six feet. Well, right now we're dealing with the waves tomorrow, mostly dry till till dark. Once it gets dark, all bets are off. We're setting up for an active weekend with passing showers and storms. Some of those could be strong or severe as we move through the weekend, but temperatures will be warming up today. We struggled a bit. We we're 10 degrees colder than normal. 71. That was the high. We should be at 81 degrees, but right now things are pretty quiet for us. We have a 68 degree temperature. North northeasterly winds will continue, but with those winds coming off the water, it's noticeably cooler. Evanston has 65. Whiting has 62. It's 61 in Gary, but when we head west, we find low 70s from Genoa to Sycamore to DeKalb. Also, Alburn and Geneva and Batavia are in the low 70s. Northwest Indiana, where we're getting more of a northerly wind component, we are in the mid 50s. Burn Har Burns Harbor, Indiana Dunes, Michigan City, even Westville and LaPorte are stuck in the 50s this afternoon. I am watching one disturbance now rolling through Minnesota. Ahead of it, clouds and some rain. I think through sunset, we may get extra clouds from this and possibly a sprinkle of rain. But this weekend, we're going to focus along this stationary front. It's going to lay south of us, but it's going to instigate showers and thunderstorms at times as they move through. So right now, underneath the clouds, and we have scattered showers in eastern Iowa, nothing showing up on the lightning detection feature, but you can see how the high clouds clouds are sneaking into our western suburbs. So between now and sunset, we can't rule out a brief sprinkle of rain, but by 10 o'clock that moves through and we start clearing out beautifully through the night and even into the morning. A nice bright start to your Friday, but I do think in the afternoon we will roll the clouds in and bring in that shower chance after dark for the most part. And we can show you the wider view here. High pressure, that's why we'll be quiet in the morning. It'll still send us a light northeasterly wind, but it keeps dry air in place. We see a line of thunderstorms over Iowa in the morning. Those kind of fizzle out by the afternoon, so I'm not expecting any afternoon activity tomorrow. It's more so after dark as this front to the south kind of activates some thunderstorm chances at times. It starts to roll closer to the Quad Cities and Saturday morning through the day we have chances for showers and storms. So as we push that first batch through tomorrow evening, then we get into Saturday. You can see what's happening here. The pattern starting to increase, giving us those showers and storms this weekend. We're warming up though. 79 degrees on Saturday, 85 on Sunday. But some of these storms could be strong or severe at times. But tomorrow we say hello to summer. All right. We welcome her. Thank yes. you, Mary Kay. <laughs>